Let's compare area and perimeter of two figures. Which figure has the greatest area? Let's use a scratch pad to help us. This wants to know the area. The area is the inside of the shape. So if we look at this shape, it says that there it is two meters wide. So we can split this rectangle into two meters, one meter, one meter, and we can split it into three meters this way. So to find the area of this shape, we could count how many squares are on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six meters squared. This shape is two meters by two meters. So we would split this side in half to show one meter, two meters, and then split this one in half to show one meter, two meters, and count. One, two, three, four. So this shape has a, an area of four meters squared. So what's larger, six meters or four meters? Well, six meters. Nice job. Now this one says which figure has the greatest perimeter. So perimeter is different. Perimeter is the outside of the shape, not the inside. So when we do perimeter, we count up all of the shapes sides together. So to find the perimeter of this shape, we would add five, I'm gonna put a check mark, plus five, put a check mark so I don't forget, plus two. So five plus five plus two equals 12 miles, mi is miles. And then the next shape is two, plus four plus three. So now I had all three sides. So two plus four is six plus three more is nine miles. So what perimeter is larger, 12 miles or nine miles? Well, that would be 12 miles. Which figure has the greatest perimeter? Remember, perimeter is the outside of the shape. So when we find perimeter, we add up all of the side lengths. So this shape has one, two, three, four sides. So we're gonna be adding four numbers together. So let's start with eight plus five plus eight plus five. So, Eight plus five is 13. So 13 plus 13, since eight plus five is 13 and eight plus five is 13, equals 26. So this has a perimeter of 26. This one over here is five plus six plus five plus six. So I wanna make sure five, six, five and six. So five plus six is 11. So 11 here and 11 here. 11 plus 11 equals 22. So which shape has a greater perimeter? That would be 26. Which figure has a greater perimeter? So we need to add all the side lengths together. So I'm going to use my scratch pad. So one plus five is six plus nine, so if I added nine and six, would be 15, plus five more is 20. So all four side lengths for this shape equal 20 centimeters. Now let's count this shape. Five plus two is seven, plus five more is 12, plus 10 more is 22. So that would be 22 centimeters. So which perimeter, because perimeter is the outside, is larger? Well, 22. Which figure has a greater perimeter? So this is also asking for perimeter. Remember that perimeter is the outside. 
So there's one side to this shape, two sides to this shape, three sides, and four sides. Now don't be tricked. Just because there's only two numbers does not mean that that's going to help us determine the perimeter. So in rectangle, rectangles, opposite sides are equal. So if this side is four, the opposite side is over here. That is also four. And if this side is two, then this side is also two. So now we can add up all four sides. So four plus four is eight, plus two is 10, plus two is 12. So this one has a perimeter of 12. Same thing over here. This side, the shape has four sides. One, two, three, and four. So if it has four sides, this is two here. This one's two, well opposite sides are equal. So if this one is two, then this one is two. And if this one is two, the opposite side is down here, and that one is also two. So let's add them together. Two plus two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight. So what's greater, 12 or eight? 12. Which figure has the greater area? So this is asking for area. So area is not the outside of the figure, but the inside of the figure. So this is showing us two millimeters long. So we're gonna split this shape. I'll erase that and try a little bit more straight. And then two meters this way. So let's count how many squares. One, two, three, four. So the area of this shape is four millimeters squared. Let's do the next one. This side would be split into two equal parts because it's two millimeters, and this side is split into five. So we would split this into five parts. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this shape would have ten millimeters squared. So the area for this one is larger than the other. That's right. The next one, which figure has the greater perimeter? I want you to think, is perimeter inside or outside? Perimeter is the outside. So let's count the outsides together. Five plus five is 10, plus one is 11. So this would be 11 miles. Now let's count the outside of this one. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So what's larger, 9 or 11? Well, 11. Which figure has a greater perimeter again? So perimeter is the outside, so let's count together. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17, plus 7 more is 24. So this size, this perimeter of this shape is 24 kilometers. Now let's count this one. Five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus five is 20. So this one would be 20 kilometers. So what's bigger? Well, 24 kilometers. Which figure has the greatest perimeter? So again, we're finding the perimeter, which is the outside. So let's count the outside parts together. Five plus five is 10, plus 10 is 20, plus two is 22. So this has a perimeter of 22 feet. Now let's check this one. We have five plus five is 10, plus 11 is 21 plus five is 26. So this one is 26 feet. So 26 feet is the largest. Which figure has the greatest perimeter? So perimeter is the outside. Let's count the outsides together. Five plus five is 10, plus nine is 19, plus three more is 22. So this would be 22 inches. 
Now this one we would do five plus five is 10, plus 11 is 21, plus five is 26. So what's larger, 22 or 26? 26. Great job. Great job comparing area and perimeter of two figures.